headed back to school with the best student in the Marvel Universe, Taskmaster. And then we are tackling Titans and homework with the Jets offensive lineman, Kelvin Beecham Jr. Hey, I'm the Quinjet here to pick you up for school. I'm Lorraine. And my cowl's in the mail. I'm like, <laughs> this is Earth's Mightiest Show, and we're headed back to school. Well, we're not. We're adults, but many people are. So why not kick off? with the best learner in the Marvel Universe. That's right, Lorraine. There is no better way to get to know one of my favorite, absolute favorite characters, comic book origins, and a little you don't know, Taskmaster. Go forth and be educated. You don't know Taskmaster? Don't rack your brains. Instead, get ready for a deadly education. Taskmaster wasn't always a mean old skull face. As a kid, Tony Masters learned he had photographic reflexes, or more accurately, the ability to recreate anyone's behavior, movement, or even voice after a single viewing. What a copycat! After seeing one pro game, he became a star athlete. Touchdown! Sure, he could have used his powers as a hero or a shield agent, which he gave a try, but he wasn't into working pro bono and instead chose to become a bone-faced criminal. Masters began his villainous turn by studying the fighting techniques of heroes and villains. At first, he pulled off some pretty sweet robberies, but why take money when you can make money? Chasing the big bucks training criminals, Tony donned a cowl, skull mask, and fabulous buccaneer boots. As Taskmaster, he set up academies across the U.S. under various fronts like a circus, an institution for the criminally insane, and a graveyard. Bone chilling. You get it. Taskmaster has taught hundreds of hench people to hench and villains how to vile, but he has also taught heroes for the 50 State Avenger Initiative. Now that's academic diversity. But wait, those rad reflexes come at a price. Sure, Taskmaster can learn any sweet skill, but his brain can only hold so much, and eventually, new skills pave over old memories. This has made him forget some uh, pretty important stuff, like his bank account number, his childhood, and, you know, his wife. That's gonna be a fight. But it's also helped him hold his own against the Avengers, Daredevil, and maybe his greatest rival, Deadpool. Whether he remembers it or not, Taskmaster will sell his services to the highest bidder, and he doesn't care if he's impersonating heroes or trying to take them out. Just as long as the check clears, because this villain means business. And now, you do know Taskmaster. You're welcome. You're welcome now. There you go. Yeah, there, I know, you were so thrilled the whole time. Also, I'm just curious, what makes him your favorite character? Because he's not a nice yeah, well, person. Listen, oh, he's my favorite Marvel villain, hands down. A, because his powers are awesome. The, the photographic reflexes, you can do that. But also, he's got a shield-like cap. He's got a sword like the Black Knight. He's got buccaneer boots like my boy Cyclops <laughs> back in the 80s. Uh, <laughs> he also has a bow and arrow like Hawkeye. Like, that's cool. Like, he can fight other heroes with their skills embarrassing him. And he's like, yes, he's from Brooklyn, so he's like, come on, get at you. Get at me. <laughs> get at Let's me, fight. Clowns. I yeah. like how you give him like a Pesci vibe. Oh, That's yeah, nice. Oh, That's yeah. nice. Well, he's not just a great learner. He's also a really great teacher. And that's important because we are going back to school. That's right. We are going back to school A. And what would school be without some sports, right? Yeah. Extracurricular activities, kids, do them. Uh, <laughs> well, listen, here's my chat with uh, Jets offensive lineman Kelvin Beecham Jr. Enjoy. All right, everybody, I am here with New York Jets offensive lineman, Kelvin Beecham Jr. Kelvin, welcome. What's going on, brother? Welcome to uh, to Marvel. So we here at Earth's Mighty Show, mm -hmm. we always have a good origin story, so please tell us what was your first Marvel memory? I got to go back to, to early mornings in grade school, mm -hmm. being able to catch X-Men uh, before I actually went to school. You know, I'm thinking about Storm, I'm thinking about Wolverine, I'm thinking about Beast. Nice, uh, I noticed uh, I'm a big X-Men fan. You couldn't tell, I know she didn't say Cyclops. My favorite uh, X-Men, Cyclops. You know, the thing is, is, is <laughs> you know, he had some things going on in his love life that I just couldn't get around. You mean um, Wolverine trying to ruin his marriage? Well, I wouldn't say that that was the case. I wouldn't say that that was the case. What? Oh, what, come on, are we really we gonna go there? We have to. Is well, Jean now. married to Cyclops? I don't feel she is. <laughs> she may have loved him or had love for him, but I think she was torn. That's just my perspective. That was a, that was a great my perspective. Did you write that before you got it? No, here? I didn't write that. You got that, you got that high off the press. You know what? I'll go back to my uh, <laughs> my yarn on my wall. I'll, 
for uh, our fans out there that uh, don't know, what is the purpose of an offensive lineman? To protect the ball, and the ball that means protecting the quarterback, protecting the running back, providing stability for the team. So, very important position to say the least. Now, if you give one of your teammates, one of your fellow linemen the day off, and you get a Marvel superhero to join you on the field, who do you pick? You think about Beast, Beast was a brute, but at the same time, he was very cerebral. He's strong enough to be able to handle what we need to handle, but he's also smart enough because offensive linemen do need to be smart. Mm -hmm. So it's certain people that need to have multiple abilities. Mm -hmm. You got to be able to, to con uh, somebody into to, to what you want them to do. You think about Thanos. He's somebody that has been able to make a name for himself in many ways. I would say so. I mean, he's, he's, <laughs> he's out there. He's on that young upstart hey, Thanos. He, I don't want them to, 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 to mess up the team that we got. And he's the type of person, he might just snap away half the people in, in the stadium. That's too, so, true. You know, you know, you losing revenue, you losing money. So can we, we can cross off Thanos. I also noticed you didn't mention Cyclops. Brother, like how many times? <laughs> here's Cyclops. Cyclops okay. is the quarterback. Okay. He's a pretty boy. I'll take it. He's a pretty he boy. He's gorgeous. Uh, hey, you can have that. Well, uh, Kelvin, uh, have, having you here has been a blast, but would you like to stick around and play a game real quick? What you got? Well, it's not football because I imagine you do very, very well. I know, and I don't think you would do too well. He's See, right. That's, He's that, right. He's right. That's what, that's what happens when you bring up Cyclops all the time. Let's do it. All right, Kelvin. So right. The name of the game is called What's That Sound? Now, we all know Marvel's full of sounds. Mm -hmm. Wolverine's claws go snicked. Spider-Man's webs go thwip. So we're going to show you a bunch of comic book panels with the right. sounds, the written sounds taken out, and we're going to write down what we think those sounds are and see how they match up with the actual sounds. Okay. Sound good? Cool. Sound okay. Good. First up, Thor giving a, a beautiful have at thee to Mangog, and he's just you're catching a, a hammer across the chin. So what do you think this sound would be? You look very enthused about your answer. <laughs> <laughs> Underline. It's like a nice little signature. Yeah. <laughs> I just went with a nice, tried and true Thum. The reveal is, in fact, Thum. So did you see these before we started? No, I did not. You can't go wrong with Thum. Okay, Next up. Ah, oh, Hulk. Hulk giving two green fists to the back of the abomination. He's breaking his spine. You know, yeah. we talk about that in offensive line play. We want to be able to break the spine of our defender. He's literally doing that. <laughs> it's true. I'm gonna just go with crack. I like that. I actually went with a little something a little bit closer. I just went with So let's see what this uh, sound actually is. Thrunch. Bruh. Thrunch. You getting too close. I also, to be guessing. I also read a lot of comic books and I usually well, you... focus on the sounds more than what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> and next up, the thing is just cracking the Hulk with a tree. Just let him have it. Reveal your sound, please. Ooh, okay. I went with pack. Okay. All right, let's see what it is. Bakum. It's the O-O-O-M's. Is there a dictionary behind these? I don't think, I don't know. Some of them are set, like snicked, thwip. I see yeah. fish a lot with like smoke and stuff like that. All right, here we go. Hercules uh, fighting the Hulk. Hulk uh, on the receiving end of just, just, almost like a tackle. Come, let's see it. Shabam. 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 Fun here and also in everyday life. Fun word to say. <laughs> <laughs> Foosh because he's flying through the air. Let's see what the sign actually is. Crackabacka, <laughs> Crackabacka, Crackabacka, also fun to say online. Crackabacka. Crackabacka and the Porgs, my new favorite band. Make a song out of that right now. I know, I like to see. <laughs> Calvin, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Yes, We're gonna be looking forward to seeing you on the field. Now I know so much more about your job as an offensive lineman. Yes, sir, hopefully we can get you to a game. I like that, I would love, I would love to go cheer you on with my visor on. I'll wear my visor. <laughs> <laughs> I have a huge sign, a Cyclops <laughs> sign, and you'll know it's me. Well, good luck this season. Yes, sir. Thank you of much, course. brother. Langston, I'm a little surprised because I didn't find him offensive at all. No, well, I mean, his take on Cyclops is offensive, but no, he's an offensive lineman, you see, in the, in the football team. He's on the offensive side of the, I can't go he's, into the weeds wait, with you. what fence? I can't do this, this can't be, this can't be my, my day. I this. don't know, I, I took a lot of art classes. Okay, wait, let's get back to the Marvel Universe. Dig it. There are a lot of schools in the Marvel Universe, but mm -hmm. which is the best? Well, shout out to our real world schools in the Marvel yeah. Universe, like MIT and Columbia and PS20 in New York City. Yeah, no, that's true, but what about the Xavier School? I mean, it's probably the most storied school in the Marvel Universe. All of the X-Men have been there. You're lucky mm -hmm. to survive the experience. Mm -hmm. A lot of stories there when, when it's not blowing up. True, a lot of money in the plaque budget for the rebuilds <laughs> for the Head Academy. True. Now, here's one of my favorites, the Avengers Academy. Let's say you're not a mutant, right? You can't go to the Xavier School, but you want to be a hero. Go to the Avengers Academy. Go sign up for Taskmaster's uh, shield throwing class. It's a whole lot of fun, but uh, however, it did end up in the murder world, which is a... Uh, Bad. Mm -mm. 
Yeah, no, that ended bad with a lot of murder. You could go to the Wakandan School of Alternative Studies, which you gotta figure, because they are the most technologically advanced nation in the world, it's gotta be probably the coolest stuff you could possibly oh, study. Can you imagine yeah, the kind I mean, of things you could best, study? Best lab. You got electron microscopes, neutron microscopes, evitron microscopes. Flying shoes, flying, flying elbow pads, I flying say, I belts. I was say flying elbow drops, and I was like, I'm sure at some point someone might. <laughs> I'm just sure that everything flies there. Yes, not to be outdone. The Fantastic Four have a school because see, they're all they're all smart and they all love the FF uh, combination. Mm -hmm. uh, the Future Foundation uh, is a school they took their own kids uh, to and they went to space. Yeah, that's the most abroad you can get. <laughs> uh, literally study in space with aliens. It's a great way to you know make friends across the galaxy. But let's not forget some of the bad ones, mm -hmm. like the Hellfire Club or the Red Room. Actually, though, okay, hot take. Oh, your I hot takes like, are a little too hot. I feel like the Red Room is probably like a really convenient place to study because they just brainwash you. That's not and like convenient. You know, it's brainwashing. You want to get uh, Lorraine, Lorraine washed. Get Lorraine washed. Hear me Lorraine out. Sink. Hear me out, it's minimal effort, maximum result. You're not Lorraine washing me. It's Lorraine. efficiency, that's all I'm saying. Don't sign up. I'm, I'm telling you that right now, listen to your boy, don't sign up for Lorraine. I'm just saying they teach you horrible things there, but if they didn't, think about it. It's subjective, it's subjective. Fair enough. <laughs> all right, you guys tell us what you think the best school to attend in the Marvel Universe might be and hashtag Earth's Mightiest Show. Yeah, we might just use it in a future episode. Yeah, I'm still gonna say it's the Red Room. Don't get the rain washed. Go to the Avengers Academy and Taskmaster, teach me. All right, so oh sounds, boy. I don't know. <laughs> he is, yeah, he's, he's from uh, Brooklyn. Yeah, well, we'll see you next time. I'm Lorraine. And I'm Langston. And this is Marvel. Your universe. Thanks for watching our Smidia show. If you like this, like this. And then leave us a comment and subscribe to the Marvel channel. Or click the box over there to watch our last episode. Langston, you're learning skills. You're learning how to spell. You're the... Uh, this isn't working like I'd hoped.